Morning friends, guess what? I just watched my son sit up on his own for the first time on the baby monitor. I guess that deserves getting out of bed. Oh, and now you're back to the other position. Did you sit up on your own this morning? You gotta prove it to everybody. I saw it. I swear I saw it. I mean, look at. Hey, if we come over here, Gabriel. Well, are you gonna stand up too? Are you gonna use the mesh to pull yourself up? Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> it did happen. I swear. I saw it. I have a picture of it with my phone. But I didn't video any of it. Well, we are all awake, cleaned up, and ready to start the day. Gabriel's next door. That's the thing about when his uh, grandmother's in town, uh, when Sarah's mom is in town, she takes him next door in the mornings pretty often um, while I'm doing things that I would normally be doing in the morning that would keep me from being able to take him over there. So he, uh, I guess normally I take him about, you know, maybe once a week, once or twice a week in the mornings to have breakfast with Papa. But since Sarah's mom is here, she can take him over there almost every day. So he gets to spend more time with them over there when she's here, which is good for him. So, and them. But I'm making coffee, and I'm going to go over there and see what's going on. Um, in my best dad ever mug, Father's Day 2017. <laughs> and yes, that is like a cup, cup of coffee three or four for the morning. I'm not sure which one because... As I mentioned earlier, we think Gabriel's going through some kind of development thing and he's waking up in the middle of the night like every two and a half hours. So even though we go to bed at like a decent time, uh, and we're still getting up at like 6.30, uh, which normally wouldn't be a bit that big a deal, you know, um, but he just wakes up so often and you have to wake up and you go in there and you gotta get him up, check him, make sure he doesn't need to change a diaper, and then bring him in there, and then Sarah's got to feed him, which takes, you know, in the middle of the night, he only feeds for like 20 minutes, so it's not very long. But um, it starts to weigh on you, and you don't get much sleep. You know, not a lot of consistent, restful sleep. But um, his grandmother got him this onesie yesterday that is could not be any more accurate. Eh, but he's still sleeping good, taking good naps during the day, which is helpful. So... Now I'm going to wander next door, see what's going on. We don't really have a plan for the day other than going to the chiropractor this evening. Uh, we had been able to go in about a week and a half because of some scheduling conflicts with us. We've been had some busy evenings, but we're going to go tonight. Uh, maybe we'll take you guys along. Who knows? And I always start my videos out saying I don't have any idea what's going to happen today. And that's absolutely true. I never know what's going to happen. And every day something interesting happens. It may not be like, oh, I saw a house burning down or a shooting star. Interesting. Shooting star? I don't know why I thought of that. You know, it may just, anyway, it may just be going to the park and having some playtime in the park. But who knows? And that's the exciting thing about being a stay-at-home dad. There's never the same day twice. So let's go see what's going on next door. We were having a nice time over there and I got a text message saying that a package has been delivered at our house. So I'm going to go check it out and see what that is. Hopefully it's the replacement filter for his humidifier because he's had some boogers and we're going to start running that in his room again. You know, typically that's a winter thing, but it's getting close to fall. So I'll go ahead and get started. Maybe that'll clear up his little nose problem. Hey 
and this has my name on it, so I'm opening it. So you're supposed to set this thing up six feet from any walls or furniture, which if you see this room, <laughs> it would literally be right there in the middle of it. And it still probably wouldn't be six feet away from all the walls and the furniture. So we're going to set it up right here for now so that I can get it running during his naps. Well, I got the humidifier set up in the room and the weather is beautiful, it's windy feels really nice, so I thought I'd get Gabriel out of the house and go for a walk. We'd spend some time outside, maybe go sit down at the park like we did the other day, and uh, before it gets progresses too much in the day and warms up too much. What you doing? Well, we were going to lay down a blanket and sit and watch the children on the playground for a little while, but we have something of a goose problem. They're everywhere, so the last thing I'm going to do is take my child out of his stroller and put him on the floor, on the ground with him. At, we were at the park, me and Gabriel, and there were two women there. They had three or four kids with them, little kids. And Gabriel likes to watch little kids and all that, so I parked at a picnic table nearby and kind of turned him towards them. We were uh, pretty good ways away, because I also don't want strange kids coming up and touching my baby. But we were parked a good ways off, and uh, you know, every now and then I'd see him kind of glancing over at me. And I quickly be became aware of the fact that I was a young man with a baby at a park with a video camera. And knowing I know the situation, I'm a stay-at-home dad with a vlog. So it was all perfectly normal to me. But I started thinking about it from, I guess, their point of view as a strange man at a park in the middle of the day when he should probably be at work with a video camera and then I started getting uncomfortable uh, so we quickly packed up and got out of there I don't know I guess the more I think about it the more it kind of frustrates me just the situation you know I probably shouldn't have gotten uncomfortable And, I don't know, I don't, I'm kind of processing it, thinking about it. Tell me what you think in the comments. If a young man, like myself, showed up at a park that you had your children at, and was filming, I wasn't filming the kids, I was filming myself, let me know what you would think. Would it make you uncomfortable? I know that a lot of people that comment on this vlog have vlogs, so they understand, and it may not be so strange to them to see a normal person talking to a video camera in the middle of the day, but let me know what you think. If you were in that situation, not in my situation, but the other person's situation, what you would think. I'm curious, and uh, I don't know, I'm going to think about think about it the rest of the day, because I don't feel like it should have made me uncomfortable. Well, Gabriel fell asleep in the stroller, and then we came in the house. I realized that he'd fallen asleep because he was awake when we left the park. And then I came, we got up to the house, and he was. So I picked him up and carried him over to the crib. It's time for him to eat. So I put him in his crib, and he woke up, and now he's real upset about it. And I'm waiting on the slowest timer 
countdown thing ever. I've got four minutes till this bottle is ready, and I got a real angry baby, so I'm gonna go take care of him, bounce him around a little bit, and then get my bottle. I'm having a rough morning. Okay, we're headed to the chiropractor. I was gonna share with Sarah my discomfort from today and uh, get her opinion. And I know it's all self-imposed and I'm crazy paranoid and all that stuff, but <laughs> I've just kinda, kinda been hanging with me as my little Yankees ball. Please disregard. So, we went to the park. It was a nice, nice day for a walk. So we went for a walk. We ended up at the park and I wanted to sit there were a lot of geese, so we didn't. I didn't lay down a blanket or anything like that. We pulled over to one of the picnic tables, which is a pretty good distance away from the playground. But there was there were two moms and about four kids with them, and I got over there and started filming a segment for of this, and then started to realize that they were kind of looking at me and. I realized that I was a filming children young man <laughs> in a in a playground oh no with a with a child in a video camera and I started feeling very uncomfortable <laughs> because the reality is I'm a stay-at-home dad filming his taking his son for a walk and filming his vlog but the perception could have been different yeah and I started feeling very uncomfortable because of the way that I would, may have been perceived by these two mothers. And it, I, I started to get, uh, so I packed up quickly and left. And, um, and just in the nick of time too, because as I was walking away, I see one of them cover up and start breastfeeding. So I was like, yeah, I don't need to be filming out here right now. Otherwise, the police are going to show up and I'm going to have a lot of explaining to do. So, anyway, <laughs> I got real frustrated with myself for getting uncomfortable because I don't feel like I should have gotten uncomfortable. I don't know. I've been trying to process what happened. I think and regardless if you were a stay-at-home dad and filming a vlog, anytime someone brings out a camera at a park, people could be... If you were a... I don't know. <laughs> if I was a woman, would it have been different? Well, so were you filming yourself and Gabriel, or were you filming the people at the park? No, I was filming myself and Gabriel. The camera wasn't even pointed at oh. the people in the park. I think if you were filming the people at the park, then yeah, that could be a level of uncomfortable. Yeah. But you obviously were there with your child. If you were alone, no baby, filming people at the park, yeah, in creeper a level, coat and creeper sunglasses. level 100. <laughs> but you weren't filming the park, you were with your son preserving family memories and they may be looking at you because you're cute well i don't want to be <laughs> presumptive of course automatically that tells you a little bit about, about my about my self-esteem lack thereof if uh yeah <laughs> you think your brain goes to creeper and not handsome dad <laughs> honey you have hot dad syndrome you're so okay. I had a, I let it get to me and I dwelled on it and I walked back home uncomfortable and angry and started thinking, you know, just kind of grumbling about it to myself. And then I proceeded to slam my finger in the front door while I was pulling his back in and, and then this one fell asleep in the stroller and I felt bad it's because I didn't, boy yeah, boy. I didn't realize he'd fallen asleep so he was kind of slumped oh. over because he just he was quiet he's always quiet he didn't talk you know at some points he doesn't talk and I was at this point I was like I'm getting I'm going back I'm going to try to get back I filmed my initial video of being frustrated after I'd left and I was fast walking back to the house and he had fallen asleep and so I parked the the stroller at the front door you know locked the little brakes and went around to unlock the front door and looked back and I see him kind of slump <laughs> So, you know, of course, I freaked out 
and I would run down there and I'm like, are you okay? Are you, <laughs> you okay? And he went, and I was like, oh, okay, you're tired. And so I opened the door, pushed the stroller in, and as I'm shutting it, slammed my finger in it. And it's one of those times when you just turn around and you go, oh, okay. And I just have to give him his bottle and then he'll go to sleep. Of course, and he, had, he started having a meltdown because he was hungry and I'd woken him up from being asleep. <laughs> he slapped his cheek. I, well, I didn't slap him. No, I know. There was the rigorous tapping, but... So... All that, he, and finally I put him, I finished giving him his bottle and put him down and he, he rolled around, he played in the crib quietly, he didn't get upset or anything until he eventually fell asleep and then I went back out to the living room and your mom said she was going, she was getting barbecue for lunch and wanted to know if I wanted some and I said absolutely, <laughs> barbecue is what I need. So anyway I thought I'd share with you what, what happened. Here. You're not crazy and you are not a creeper. You are crazy, but a good kind. <laughs> but you're not a creeper and I don't think they were thinking that. I think they are admiring the attractive dad with his adorable son. <laughs> he was obviously a loving father because he's filming his interactions with his son at the <laughs> park. So like, you're invested. So they're like, man, I wish my stupid husband would be that involved. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Gabriel's having his dinner. He's having another banana, which he likes. He's doing really good and not trying to grab the spoon too much. A little bit, not not nearly impossible like it was last time. And I blended it up this time with a little bit more chunks. I did blend it as smooth. because I wanted to start getting them used to thicker textures. And he's doing pretty good. As he grabs a spoon and knocks all of it off. Where's my backup spoon? <laughs> Behind the couch. But usually he grabs it and just brings it to his mouth and then chews on it. <clears throat> Can I have a bat? Can I have a bat? You are the strongest eight month old that I know. I am pulling really hard. Ah, thank you. I mean, that's slippery banana. Mm -hmm. How does he keep a hold on it? Death grip. Hold. Because that's a word. I'm recording. Oh. <laughs> it's Tuesday night. <laughs> We're going to go have some dinner. Yeah. Next door at Aunt Judy's. That looked very posed. It's <laughs> Tuesday night, so we're going to go next door and have dinner at Aunt Susie's. Okay. That was kind of rushed. Do it, <gasps> do it one more time. No. Look, it's like a pen. Uncle Ed. Hello. What is that? That's, that's an herb wreath. Who else would it be? We're having roast beast for dinner. <laughs> and Potatoes. quail eggs now. <laughs> quail eggs. Potatoes and other stuff. Let them roll around on the carpet. Roasted vegetables to go with the roast beast. <laughs> beast of a wife. Getting so, not like that. I mean, like you're, you know, beast mode. You're good. Oh, come on. Are you watching yourself? It's somebody's bedtime. So we're gonna do our baby massage. Have a little milk and put him down for the night. And hopefully he sleeps good. More than every two to three hours. His <sighs> mommy's tired. Like I was telling y'all about this morning. So, <laughs> hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching. Yes, and subscribe so you get all our uh, all our other videos. <laughs> Click the bell so you get the notifications. And comment and tell us about any uncomfortable park experiences you've had. And if, if you have any suggestions about uh, 
baby sleep and stuff like that during this time or your experiences. So thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next time.